how are your aspirations changing as your experience grows? I read this great quote by Lao Tzu just in the last week or so, and to paraphrase it, basically says that in order to add knowledge, collect experiences, seek out stuff. In order to add wisdom, subtract things. And so for me, I've been very much focused on the subtraction of things, right? putting things in their proper place. There's another uh, aphorism that says the most important thing in life is deciding what's most important. And, and I think it's a challenge because when you're young and you're trying to learn something, uh, a new subject, or you're trying to explore the world and figure out what matters to you, the best thing to do is to drink from the fire hose. It's just to soak it all in. Now, it's challenging because there's no pause button to that fire hose in today's day and age. Yet, I very much have been somebody who always goes to the deep end of the pool, dives in, and learns how to swim. And I've, I've dealt with many, many information streams coming at once. I travel and work across so many different worlds and disciplines. I've always been a bit of a dilettante. You know, I, 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 can, I can talk for five minutes about just about anything, you know, and have some angle or point of view and connect it to some other subject or topic that I've studied. But I'm realizing more and more for where I am in my life and my career is about that choice-making process, that simplification process, the saying no to things, and worrying less and less about what I might be missing out on. And that's one of the hardest things that I struggled with for a long time, and I know many others do too. But 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 but, but what if? Well, I don't I don't know. There there might be something good waiting over there for me. And and our society and our culture and this just intense saturation that we all experience with email and social media and information streams. It makes it so hard to just set those boundaries and and to be able to sleep at night. Uh, you know, another dimension of this that I've been thinking a lot about, Eric, is so this new age of interconnectedness that we are all experiencing. One of the challenges is that we continue to apply a previous era's set of social values, including a sense of obligation to a new set of social relations. Most of us were taught to be friendly to strangers and to treat people a certain way about the amount of time and attention you give to folks. Well, that starts to break down as a value system, at least early certain routines or practices, really start to get stretched and crack when you are managing incoming streams of hundreds of emails and inputs and requests for your time and attention. And sorting through that and being able to say no without guilt, without a sense of obligation, you know, it comes down to really getting clear on knowing, again, what truly matters to you. And, um, and that's a hard process.